So this is Warlock early morning. <laughs> yeah, who's seen that show on TV? Something still standing. It's a, it's a comedian. So I'm being a comedian. Warlock Superman still bleeding with apple bleeding <laughs> meaning I'm still being pesticidatus. I have instead of appendicitis, I have pesticidatus. How do I know this? Like again, people say, how do you know? It's like saying, well, where's your where's your proof that you love cats, or <laughs> where's your proof that you have a headache? <laughs> Where is it? Do you need one? No, you have a headache. Uh, where's your proof you got insulted? Do you have proof in court? <laughs> if you're feeling sick, right, and, and you know where it comes from, you know the what your body's reaction is to a certain product, but then again, people, I, I'm always, like, we always, in life, we always think from a uh, an experiential point of view and we all have a unique lens of life and like I was like not editing just screening some of my videos and I was even saying oh in that thing I was trying to make comparisons and I mentioned uh, dying or this as examples or violence and I'm always it's not that I'm I'm traumatized but it, it, it's it's not trauma it's it's torture <laughs> there's a, there is a difference because trauma is Living trauma is like fearing things that won't happen. So me, if I see a police car or if I see a person from Apopex and I'm in like fight or flight or defensive or worried that they're going to do something literally to my body, like they all have a uh, ambulance, uh, police, uh, undercover ambulance, undercover police, undercover. I don't know if firemen too were undercover or just sent on an agenda, but that's not... See, and it's sad. I saw TV and I saw, I saw whether it's an officer, a police officer, whether it's a fireman, an ambulance. Most people that suffer are, are, are it's a dangerous job. So that's why I'm saying I just, if I put myself in a police system or even Apopex that they deal with a lot of people and they know, obviously, some of them really have mental problems, my dear Apopex. Those you should fear, not me. Me, all you're doing uh, it's like I'm drawing the line in the sand. Is It's like now at least five years that I do no uh, legal complaints when now it's even a million times more than before against Apopex, against the police. Yes, I should have maybe gone and do a formal complaint like that. Maybe if I die, there's something formally that I was worried that police was doing secret attack. But that day, I don't even think you could fill it out in the form. I think it's all ridiculous. All like me, what did I get out of complaining with St. Mary's? Even though I didn't even complain directly, well, in the past, sort of. But it doesn't do nothing. All it does is for them to treat you worse and make it look as if they're nice. Because if you complain about police being nice, they'll uh, smile at you just like that lady cop. I put a short, taking away your rights to own weapons where it's still legal in the United States. That's the biggest country, the biggest movie of the summer that was modern and seemed at least for a while that it was going towards real freedom and like Canada, the land of the brave and free, the land of the sub subdued and controlled and jailed. <laughs> I'm laughing because, and I'm not laughing only sarcastically, I'm laughing because if we can't appreciate our suffering, then what's the point? There was a comment someone put, uh, I don't know which video it was, ah, look at my comments and this person said something like, it was just inspiring. And I said, you're right. <laughs> but, and it's the point that God, we're the play of God. Yeah, it's something I've said too. We're the actor that really gets into their role, that really feels the pain of God, because God can't feel. Not that they can't feel at all, but in a sense, God can't feel because he's beyond feeling. He just is everything. So he doesn't know how it is to have a polarized point of view. So it's like saying the infinite, the all-encompassing, the only reality that's everything, that's all realities. It's If people think they could contemplate life and the universe without a paradox, then, my friends, you are totally insane, totally out of your mind. Anyone that has done any theoretical physics or even provable, even mechanical physics proves chaos, uh, quantifying gravity is still quantifying change because everything is in a state of flux. People think the weather and temperature changes and people think 
gravity doesn't change. It does not change in immense. Just like saying karma exists, but people deny it to themselves. Just like people think there is a reason for raping or hurting people or killing people or causing wars or selling weapons or lying or perjuring themselves or putting people in jail forever when they did absolutely nothing or torturing people. And I'm not speaking, see, I'm trying not to be very general in this video and very broad spectrum. No, crime is big and cri and life and crime are the same thing because crime is accepted by God. I don't know why people are so polarized and so fragile to think. You think all this crime governments and rich people and police are doing is not allowed by us? <laughs> then there would be no karma. Then there would be no... Nothing happens without the will of God. Just like part of me knew that by being assertive, you're challenging. So even if you don't do something illegal, somebody could take... It's like uh, I saw this uh, short that I commented on. This guy takes this big guy's hat and the guy decides to just slap him just with his fingers, not with his palm. The guy would have been knocked out. And people said he got this. And some people said that's... I don't know if I'm the only one that mentioned karma. But that's how karma is. It's like you provoke, you get it. But you don't see it right away because you're... I'm not saying it, people are stupid. It's just because karma is... You have to know quantum physics. You have to have meditated. You have to have studied how energy works. Energy is as simple as this. You hit, you get it on your fingers. If your fingers are hard enough to temporarily, but one sooner or later, you're going to hit that rock. It's going to, but that's the physical part. But the energy behind it is so intricate. You know, everything that you see now, some of my channels talk about, uh, uh, the processes of the body, everything is provable there right now. Never mind theories about, uh, let's forget, let's forget uh, karma. It's a little complex to prove, but even that could be proven. And the CIA has proven all these psychic trauma. Let's just look at the glandular system of the body, okay? You learn the basics in school. What Sometimes if you have an imbalance, a doctor will give you a chemical that's going to probably cause side effects because there is the natural amino acids. Anything you take, like my, my brother used to take thyroxin since I talked about him in a negative way and I'm talking. And he could have taken uh, the, the hormone or the natural, not hormone, the, well, hormones too. Sometimes hormone therapy is tricky because it's not produced by your body. But if you push your body, if you put substances or... Uh, biofeedback techniques, meditation techniques that force your body to be stimulated because we have sphincters not only to expel toxins but to produce things almost like saying saliva is to digest. We have other methods of producing hormones and, and, and things in our body to protect us and to make us grow and to be healthy. Mind you, sometimes by the time you know, you're already too old and too sick to do anything about it. Me, by the time I found out, I'm not saying it, it was too late for me, but some things, uh, maybe there's still a chance. But the, the idea is that when you're fragile and the environment affects you, and then like recently, even people try to make me sick. And that's where you see that any everything happens for a reason, whether you physically succeed or not in your goals, whether they're evil goals or good goals, makes no difference. People, even me... I let them win in the sense is the, the, the narrative of physical things. It's like during the pandemic, everybody that doesn't follow what people say is a criminal, is a, a, rebe a rebel, is everybody that has some sort of assertiveness and independence and freedom of thought is considered a bad person by government. And that's what people don't understand, that if you look at things through the eyes of your programs, then you'll never see reality. You'll see it eventually, but not from your avatar, not from your present physical condition. The sooner you see through this 3D shell what reality is, just like me. Now, it didn't take long to know that they're putting pesticides again. Why? Because it's connected to a physical button. Just like when you have the red light, right? You have the red light district or the red light on your car. You know it's different than, than most lights. A red light telling you uh, your engine... Red. Me, it's the red light, it's blood. I try even sometimes. I don't want to say, just going to the bathroom. Last time, I think I, at one point I was fed up and I put it on 
just the blood, the blood on Kleenex. It's like if right now my blood bleeds, but wherever it comes from, your eyes, your your nose, while it comes from, when blood comes from your eyes, you better seek some help. But if it comes from your nose or your mouth or your teeth or your your butt, <laughs> it's because it could be also something. That's it in the environment. And some people think cancer. It could be cancer, but. A sensitive person, whether you have environmental sensitivity or just have been doing yoga so many years, and a lot of people see the feats of uh, Buddhist monks, of, of Shaolin uh, masters. Uh, hey, I even met a nice uh, cop from Station 26 that's a master, and he was amazing. He, Even though he was, like, obviously at some point following the stupid <laughs> narrative of police. And it's not that it's stupid. It's, it's just what it is. It's bully shit. Because even though police smile more and are less brutal than the times of the far west or the times of armies invading and killing, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it's like they're doing the same thing on whites now that it generally, and I'm sure even indigenous or, or Native Americans are still being mistreated. I'm pretty sure from what I hear too. But the fact that they're pretending, they're pretending to, to I'm not saying it's all pretend. Some of it is even show. But this is what I mean, is that there is a controlled desire that nothing, it's like me, I'm actually saying it, I have actually video proof, I'm being brutalized, followed is 100% proven, I'm being brutalized, my arm is slowly healing, but the moment I go out, I'll get another attack, but they'll do any excuse not to face that the Montreal police is becoming monstrous with me, and Apopex is joining in because... Since I mentioned in the video, I outed the police and that they're continuing. Sometimes Apopex like slows down on their crime because right now there is so much, like I said, tag team with the police. It's like they have to be so many against me, one person. How powerful do I seem to them? I'm not more powerful than them. In our soul, we're all the same. Physically, they could have more weapons, more money, more court cases to win against. But when it comes to soul, we all have the same power. If I have to talk now... Not from uh, abusive or t torture ways like when they came and see me. Because police never answered any question of mine. I answered theirs. I had no choice or not answered, but at least been forced to an evaluation and to go to court if I wanted even partial freedom. Because right now I have partial freedom. See, it's not. I'm not even saying it anymore. It's a testimonial. This is reality. I'm teaching people through the lens of my experience. Just like when someone is explaining, you see these people, even those famous, uh, it's in black and white, the video, these famous Mahari, whatever, these people that, uh, there's this guy and he has a picture and he looks so, uh, you could see it almost like he has a smile, almost like the Mona Lisa. I forgot his name. Jeez, it's so, dis not disrespectful because I don't follow, uh, and Indian words are similar and complex, but the point is, and he was explaining how he, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. A bit like me, technically showing, well, this happened, so this proves that this energy protects me or not protects my body so much, but protects the vibration of my soul, which is just, which is pure, which cannot be thwarped on. Because if I was saying now, I want this particularly, this color of paint in my apartment, I want the fridges changed, I want to be able to uh, plant a bigger garden than my neighbors. Then people could have a reason that I'm just saying, please don't torture and kill me. <laughs> so, but th this is exactly what how ridiculous it is. Just why, how easy you could see the similarity to Gaza. Some people say Trump himself. I just want people to stop dying. Police of Montreal, I just want you to stop torturing me that is bringing me to my death. I actually can't move my arm anymore. And that people know exactly what substance they put, or even if it's a parasite or if it's a, a medical product that could seem even like innocuous, meaning that it could seem something that a procedure that they do in hospital. See, I'm just giving you theories. I don't know myself 100%, but it does feel like a, a some kind of, you know, first of all, the fact that I feel it coming from an injection and from eye contact. I mean, right now, can somebody doubt me if I say, and people have, you know, say oh my god and i don't want to say details of what happened in certain situations where people were telling me oh my god it's so obvious the way that girl is looking at you that she likes you and you like her so with that 
in mind, which is not too important. And in fact, that causes trouble too. Just like I'm saying now, when I have eye contact with undercover, uh, people that are paid that are not even professional or people that are professional that are undercover, the moment you guys, I'm telling you that I, the moment, the second that I, I, and sometimes I had no choice. Like the other day, I knew they were undercover people, but I thought I was distant enough not to be, not for my head, because this time it was my head. When I came in the bar where I was a, a week ago, it was this one, because they had the time to plan it when they have my GPS. But even when they don't have my G, no, it's more co complex because those machines are expensive. The horrors that I'm living. And, and if I wouldn't enjoy it at all, it would be some kind of thing that I did wrong spiritually, because spiritual people... It's not that we don't see the difference at all. We experience the difference between pleasure and pain, but we see both as natural, necessary things. Just like when I said the, the song from uh, Peter Gabriel, that's another experiment that I'm doing because Peter Gabriel, even though is limited, he's still messing with a lot of spiritual and he does them in code. He teaches in code. I'm not saying maybe that's his idea, but that's the way his words sound. Because there's a song, it's so beautiful and and it's still weak because he's seeing, it's it's a song about romance and he's seeing something, uh, my fruitless searching and he's making the woman his reason and he doesn't know that he's not even that advanced yet spiritually. But I'm not trying to judge him. I'm not judging. Like I don't judge people trying to torture me now, whether the goal is to kill me or not, or just to silence me or just to... Just to have pleasure over torture. Some people, that's what it is. Some people have pleasure over kissing animals so much. I see, and I used to say it as a joke. I'd feel like eating, eating my cat because it's so cute. Some people actually not eat them like on the plate. Well, some people do that too. So expressiveness and, and applying what you believe gives you satisfaction. Like right now, monetarily, I don't see it. Maybe that time with that rule, there's like a, a certain com a compensation for people that out people with Bill C-63. Yes, maybe at one time they got some money by hurting me. But right now, all they're getting is bad reputation verbally, uh, by word of mouth, on YouTube, unless that they could take down. But pamphlets, even that, they could come up with a viral. Like I said, I was told I can't film. Even though it is by law, technically you have the right to film public servants. Then they start putting bylaws. Oh, but this is a center, so you're disturbing and it's always the thing that business is more important than life or justice. Like the cops told me in front of uh, Apopex, even though before now they have, they said, oh, you're not allowed for me here because it's in front of a business. And you know what the business was? <laughs> exterminators. <laughs> and think about it. Exterminators exterminate people more than, uh, uh, than insects, obviously, because if it kills insects, if you repeat anywhere, you repeat a procedure with a toxic product, whether it's naturally based, chemically based, alien based, it's always natural. How can something not be natural? How can something be other than God? How could something be a big question cannot have a paradoxical answer? Because paradox is life. We're fooling ourselves, just like the songs from, uh, not April Wine, uh, Def Leppard. I ain't fooling everything. I'm just fooling myself. Yes, the basic, some things, and just going back to that thing now, I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, I forgot, I, I lost my train of thought. Choo -choo. Anyways, when we channel, it's just a flow. And so the energy is the same. Just like if you put... If you overpower with the voltage from the hydro, the direct power line, something that could only take the power from uh, DC, direct current, uh, 6 volt or 12 volts, even, it's going to blow. No? Right? It makes sense. So that's what happens you, when you meditate. It goes in increments. But that's why procedures that are too advanced, if you force the Kundalini, if you force some kind of energy connection in your chakras and your nervous system, there is a possibility, a little bit, but they make it seem so scary to scare people you're going to have a psychotic break. No, it depends. Right now, weights. Can you get hurt with weights? How many ways are there to get hurt doing bodybuilding or martial arts or swimming? But if you do it gradually and you see the limits of your physical body, then the danger is not minimal, but 
Yeah, minimal, meaning it's reasonable. I still do training and sports and a bit of yoga, but not like I used to do 20 years ago because that would be silly. And also because I'm going through other things that are of a physical nature that are challenging. But, and like I said, my body's getting sort of, I don't, I, I, I shouldn't say anything like for sure about what's happening to my body, whether positive or negative, but obviously these attacks are making me very ill and I don't even know if I survived the next attack. That is a truth though, because it is intense. What they're doing to me is already, the intent is, I think, almost 100% sure it is to kill me. And I'm not like, because from my point of view, think about it, and especially since police could put someone in jail forever just for slapping a person or pushing a person, imagine injecting things that are, because obviously they're back up with this, anything that would deal with, because that's why they're doing it. Not that I could film them like that time with the hand. I think that's, I'm not saying that's the only time they're going to go that way. But the thing is, like now, again, you're not even allowed filming. Like right now, if they attack me in the center or in a bar, you're not allowed filming. So what, how could, how would I be able to, and would it be allowed if I'd film or would I get more punishment for filming? So when you could twist laws and you could make crime legal when it's done by a person in status, just like now with the French laws, even though behind it, they, they try to give excuses. It's like trying to, oh, don't worry. It's like during the pandemic, oh, no, you can't go shopping. No, you need a passport, and this is necessary for your health. And they're still going with that. And in fact, oh, I don't want to go with what, what I've heard. Just look at Redacted, the recent ones. I <laughs> See, that's all I'll say. Because, oh, and even that could be that. But the thing is, it doesn't make sense. People have said that on Twitter, they shared something. And they got in trouble just for sharing it. So it doesn't make sense. Me, I'm saying do your own research. Don't include me. But there are certain places, Joe Rogan redacted, that all are more extreme. So nowadays, what we say could be so twisted and so changed just to punish. So the idea that we're free is a big... Anybody that thinks that, especially in Canada, that we have any modicum of freedom, yes, the illusion still that we're a good country, free. We even help other uh, other immigrants from other countries. <laughs> hey, that's part of the crime. It's not saying that we can't help, but when you help too much, that means you're hurting someone that's already helped. Because if you have to take away housing and food from people that are already citizens and have worked hard or have participated in whatever way they can in Canada for many, many decades, it's wrong. Just like people, they say, oh, they have more privileges, people that have went to school in English or that are used to living in English in Quebec, they have rights. But trust me, it's not that I'm saying for sure their rights are going to be taken away. It's like, it's a delicate subject because it could be part of the regime. And as much as Quebec says that Canada is different, when, when I called the Minister of Health, you know what they told me? We're not part of Canada. It's like when I mentioned Bill C-63, because it's a sort of, not medical, but you know, they know about that. They go, oh, don't involve us. That's, it, it, it's like one of my, uh, when I went to the States, because I said I have family in the States and Italy, one of my uh, cousins that's married has a kid and he was in the car with her husband. I think the husband, no, in one case, the husband is my cousin. But anyways, so he gave a little like scold or like, hey, hey, shut up, like raise his voice or give a little smack. I don't want to say it's not brutalizing the kid, a little thing, tap and the kid cries and he calls his mom. Then when his mom, oh, no, I've had enough, stop. That, daddy's here, daddy's here, mommy's here. <laughs> so this is what Quebec is doing and Canada too. It's their fault. No, go to them, go to them. Don't you see that nobody takes effing responsibility for their evil? And for what they have to fix, whether it's in their community and there's doesn't matter what CTV, all the bullshit they always try. And they're and I know they're listening to me. My brother goes, are you important? Yes, I'm important. The moment you feel important without it having a babyish uh, ego need that to feel important, you're naturally connected. It's like a puzzle. When the piece fits, it fits. If you're if you're it, you're it. Tag, you're it. You, you think again, that's how you know it's a real anointed spiritual person. When they say, I don't fucking want this. And I'm saying this I, almost more than I'm saying I'm being tortured to death by the Montreal police. And I'm declaring it 100% truth. May God strike me dead now. May God torture me for eternity if there's one word I've said wrong in my videos or lied. Or what, even if it was a bit uh, rude or uh, arrogant, it was justified in a polarized way. Because I live in my body. People that think that... They think all spiritual people are like that. That's the part 
when you're living on a mountain, like you see even this Buddhist monk at one point, or I don't know, some kind of meditator or advanced person, and they're, they're like taming a big bobcat or something in the mountain. It's no kidding. Me, I used to ask myself, shit, even some days that I'm triggered that, that my body is not making me suffer. Like now, I don't think I'd be able to attract a, a street cat because I'm so, the products they're putting me are constantly burning. They're doing them through the door. Pesticides now, again, Apopex, good job, good job. Make me bleed to death. Make me have a fucking stroke and then blame it on the police, right? Because we don't know now if I die, I don't know if it's from Apopex, from the police, from some other kind of new product they're putting in. But what? trust me, Anything that happens to me health-wise is somehow improved upon, my, meaning that the deteriorating of my body is probably due to that, obviously, and, and not 100% only for that, but like a good percentage, because they, I am not a guinea pig, I am not a pincushion, just because I refuse certain meds or certain <laughs> medical procedure. Government, it doesn't give you the right to follow me and attack me, even though one day it's going to be the general call. You're adding a general rule that's invented, even in your corruptive rules, that sometimes in hospitals, like, because I stood my ground, is that one of the reasons why? Because I stood my ground even against police that you have no right to touch me, and I was peaceful at that, huh? That cop probably remembers, and, he, and I saw the surprise in his face. Not that I was very strong, that I resisted, not arrest, because he had no reason to even touch me, never mind arrest me. But that's the crime. And he was surprised that my energy was so strong that he couldn't shake my hand. Of course, you're going to be more surprised, police, when it dawns on you, the problems. and. But I don't want that. See, it's not a hate thing. and I don't give a feeble interest in the laws and I know you could punish me more oh I have no doubts they can make a bullshit even with this testimonial proof I have that I'm denouncing that they're using every corrupt sneaky way maybe they're not using it legally for now for now temporarily but they've done it before twice right so and that was all sponsored or contributed by the police when I was freaking out over my hand it was because of their attacks and also I'm reminding people the pesticides in my apartment whether they put them a lot all over because they know already so many people are dying people are starting to ask questions Apopex <laughs> and I promote that I'm saying if you exterminate more than once a month and you don't take the proper precautions, trust me, it influences your health a lot, not a little bit, a lot. Meaning it's not going to be the only cause. If you have high blood pressure, it's going to cause more high blood pressure. If you have cancer, it's going to cause your cancer to go bigger. Like, uh, and there's this lady that talked to me. I don't want to say because she already got shit and she even told me, oh, they told me I talk too much. It doesn't matter who you are. Or, and I know some people might start triggering. But they told, uh, she told, oh yeah, I got cancer. And another person too, even Mr. P38, I don't know what health problem he has, but I'm pretty sure. And, and around the time, I don't want to say there's certain things that if people investigate, they'll know. It's always an outside product. Our body is perfect unless there's pollution, some kind of, even now they're coming up with this thing is, oh, there's something in the air, toxic particles. It's like they're trying to tell me they could kill me with so many parts. I know that. But the, the thing is, they don't know. I feel them even before. Like when I go near my door and I get bumps on my face, it doesn't matter what kind of parasite or chemical or, or thing. I'm starting to think when they swap, look how I, th I this could be paranoia. It's not paranoia. It's a possible way. When they, they swabbed me, it was in time of COVID. There was no outbreak and they saw I had no symptoms of COVID, but they insisted I do a COVID test. Now, I'm not saying, because sometimes it looks like so structured for me. Like I'm thinking when the girl gave me a sheet, she didn't have gloves on. So was it a genetic thing or was it just parasites that affect me and not other people? Or it could have been a specific genetic, you know, like when they say weapons that are specified to one, somebody's genetic code. People don't know the research on corruptive measures. They're admitting, if you do the research, and again, this, I'm not going against any uh, procedure or thing. I'm just saying, do the research. There is even Jesus Christ, uh, what's it called there? The Big Bang Theory, if you listen carefully, even though they're part of the system, they give and they, and they left them there. I mean, they even showed them. They say, oh, we're weaponizing this, that, that's for, oh, I never did this. See, she said, I never did this. <laughs> even the joke, every joke has some truth, right? So the, the idea that the world is so fifth domain warfare, so corrupt, that's why they're always saying, Conspiracy theorists, before they, these theories that I'm saying now, which are based on investigation and also physical, my own body's experience. So what I've just told you is not 
confirmed by a doctor. It's not confirmed by uh, investigative uh, reporters or scientists or doctors or even police. Uh, it's by me. Ooh, who am I? <laughs> well, visual proof of my body. Just look, a, a, even if you're a five-year-old, okay, let's just say a 10-year-old. This appears on my body. Well, maybe the, the uh, people say, you scratch it, duh, whatever, even if I could. <laughs> and I don't want to say because they're going to say, you're not allowed touching your body. Well, I, am I allowed touching myself? <laughs> I touch myself. You don't understand how stupid the government is. They could put a chip in our brain one day and even Klaus Schwab suggests it so he can know what we're thinking. But we're not even allowed. They were telling me I was I was hurting my body and they were worried. They said, on the, and this I could guarantee on the first... He's hurting his body. He's a danger to himself. F off. You're a danger to me, you fucking monsters. Am I allowed to still swear? God? You are monsters. Monster Inc. This is what I want to tell people. You have to express it. You have to assert yourself. If you don't call people out, they're still, they still might do it. But at least you have the satisfaction of being in your power, in your glory, in your true innate nature that's divine because even though they are divine being corrupt and monstrous you have the right also to say just like mel gibson i'm becoming more like mel gibson than jesus because they're gonna cut me up piece by piece and everybody's gonna maybe i don't know if they're probably not gonna allow it even this video but it's not that it's extreme. It's real. I'm just saying my, my suffering, what I think and what I see. You see the police vehicles. You see this on my body. I'm telling you they're doing it by icon. Duh. Why are they not in a committee now against them? Just like Elon Musk said something beautiful. Beautiful. I went on X. I mean, I'm trying to do publicity there, but it's going to be either blocked or something. But not that I want a publicity for money. I just want to tell as many people as possible, I'm dying, I'm being killed, tortured, <laughs> and nobody's doing nothing. I mean, but absolutely nothing. But it's okay. It's okay because the more people do nothing physically, the more they're going to have generational torment. I'm just grasping at straws here. See, when I do do something silly and egoist, it's not that I'm grasping at straws. I'm extrapolating. And for a spiritual person, to say something that he's not 100% sure, what I've said so far is 100% sure from my intuitive and factual and statistical vehicle and trauma on my body and eye contact with those monstrous people. And some of them were even able to smile and pretend. They were, f hey, those people recently at the at the mall doing work in front of the freaking, uh, ah, I'm calling you out. I, and, and even the stupid security, which the guy has it, I saw it in your voice that you knew you were being evil. You're telling me I can't film and I can't complain about being followed and mutilated. What the F is wrong with you, my dear? Because you are good or maybe you're just weak. Because if I know, probably be, maybe if I'd be in your place and not having meditated many years, right now I have to admit if I'm a cop, if I'm a security that's meant because I am targeted so much people don't know with or without a phone, I am probably... Enemy number one of Montreal, obviously, but they don't know that they're monsters number one, that even if the world turns into a dictatorship right now, 100% uh, confirmed, what they're doing to me is still a crime on top of the dictatorship. <laughs> I've said too much, or maybe I haven't said enough. So I hope you get the gist of this video. This is Warlock Superman, backed up, uh, latest update. <laughs> Good vibes, namaste.